There is nothing worse than when you open up DaVinci Resolve and put an audio file in and this happens. I'm going to show you how to fix it. I'm going to show you how to fix it fast. G'day superstars. That is the most irritating thing with DaVinci Resolve. This bug's been going around for quite a while. If you put an MP3 into DaVinci Resolve every now and then, you put an audio file in, it'll play half your audio file or a third of it, and then it goes dead. You've got all your waveforms, then you've got a dead line. The only reason I can see that might be the problem is because an MP3 is a compressed file, and I think DaVinci doesn't really handle that compression very well. And the funny thing is that audio file will play fine anywhere else. It'll play fine in your normal media player, it'll play fine in different software, but in DaVinci Resolve, it has a bit of a fit. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that right now. Okay, we're in DaVinci Resolve. I've just found a stock footage shot of this. And I'm gonna add some music to it. But I noticed when I added an MP3 that I got from YouTube Audio Library, this is what I've got. It plays, everything's great, but when you get to here, it just stops. You see the waveform is empty, there's just nothing there. So let's go to Adobe Audition and let's have a look at the file. So obviously it doesn't play here, but let's go to Adobe Audition, so we're gonna click on that. You can use any converter to do this. You don't have to use Adobe Audition. I just happen to have it because I pay for the Adobe Pack with my work, so I use it. So you drag the MP3 file in, and if you put it in the timeline, you can see that all the audio file is there. It's the exact same file I just had loaded into DaVinci Resolve. You can use any converter you want, as I said, but this is the one I tend to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna file, I'm gonna save that as a WAV file. I have actually tried to save it as MP3 file and it's worked before, but I'm gonna save it as a WAV file. And do okay. Now that I've got my WAV file, I'm gonna go back into DaVinci Resolve and I'm gonna drag my WAV file in. As you can see, the whole file is right there. So you can get rid of this one down here and drag the new one in and all the audio is there for that file. I'm not sure what causes this problem. Um, I think it's a compression issue with DaVinci Resolve, the way they read compressed files like an MP3. Either way, this fixes the problem and it's a workaround and I hope it helps. And while we're on the subject of video and audio and noise, let's talk about noise reduction. I've got a video right here on how to get the best noise reduction results out of DaVinci Resolve. It's pretty simple to do. See you in the next video.